What's going on guys, What's Alex up? Leba oh, I, back just, I just ruined your intro, I started doing it again. What's going on guys, Alex Leba back here again for another movie review and I'm joined once again by my buddy Cinecreep or What's Josh. Up, guys? Yep, Josh here and today, 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 you saw Jigsaw. Being the massive Saw fan you are. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you guys know that I am a massive Saw fan and I've mm -hmm. been massively anticipating this movie yeah. for so long. Ever since, you know, the seventh movie came out in 2010, you know, I saw that movie in the theater. I've waited for this movie for seven freaking years. Right. Before this, I watched all of the Saw movies for Leba, because I always make jokes about them and stuff, and I've never seen them all, so I did, and I actually like the series. I, I do, I, I like, I like the original Saw, it's amazing. The two and three, great sequels. Four is just eh. Five is a great character piece on Hoffman. Six is okay, and then seven, you know, it's bad, but the ending, you know, that's badass. The original Saw is my favorite horror film of all time. I absolutely adore everything about that movie. The way it's made, the writing, just everything about it is just fantastic. Perfect. It's 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 not perfect. Like even I say, it's my favorite horror movie. It's it's uh, not a it's not a flawless well, movie. At least for what it did with the genre, mm -hmm. like that's fucking yeah, it redefined the re horror genre. Yeah, because it, it was so clever. Like yeah, I don't I know. Obviously, it's not perfect. There's lots of there's a few plot holes that don't make sense. Several so. several plot. Several, right. You can overlook the flaws because mm -hmm. in, in, you know, it's really that good. Yeah, the original Saw is a film that takes all these different things that I love about movies and puts them all into one and, mm -hmm. you know, adore that movie. Saw 2, great horror sequel in my opinion. Not Amazing. And 3, dude, that's just yeah. intense, three, man. Yeah, love it. Yeah, 3 is, in my opinion, the best Saw sequel. It just has, like, the, the best character development, you know, and best story, I think, out of any of the films besides the first. And then right. 4, I think, is is really good. A lot of people crap really? on it, including See, him. I, I just uh, didn't it's, like it, it, man. It's, it's one of the weaker Saw films. Right. I just didn't but, feel it, like, held up, especially after, like, coming off of 3 and how good that was. Yeah, I understand. Uh, but 5 was better. 5 was a great character mm -hmm. piece. I uh, really like Hoffman. Yeah, I love the timeline twist in, in part four. Mm -hmm. I thought that was awesome. And I love how it delved, you know, into the character of John Kramer. Mm -hmm. And then part five, you know, with Hoffman. Hoffman's my second favorite character. He's badass. Second to, you know, John Kramer, mm -hmm. who is my personal favorite horror movie villain of all time. Right. He's one of the smartest movie villains. Part six is, is, I think, the second best sequel in the franchise to part three. I thought that was just such a awesome movie because it was actually directed by the editor of all the movies who also edited uh, Jigsaw. Saw the final chapter, you know, uh, I'm just gonna say it, it, it kind of sucks. It's by far the worst in the series and like it yeah. was just very rushed. Just watch the last five minutes. The ending, you know, didn't really explain much. There's a lot of, you know, oh, dude. way too many things left uh -huh. hanging. But and, I'll, I'll, like, although it was cool what happened at the end of that one, you know, I always thought, you know, if they were to make a Saw 8, right. that that was, is a thing that they we'll need go with, to yeah. explain. Explain. Okay, so then that, well, I think but, that's the transitioning point to Jigsaw. Of course, no spoilers in this review, by the way. You're safe with us. If you guys, you know, were expecting, you know, all your questions to be answered, you know, that are left dangling at the end of that last movie and left dangling throughout, you know, the whole series, you know. Yeah. You're not going to get that. Really what this is, is its own movie. The one thing I kind of liked about this movie is how different of a movie it is, you know, in every way from the other films. I mean, like, there's, mm -hmm. it's, 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 first of all, it's shot very well. Oh, yeah, The dude, movie was and, really well made, You know actually. how, like, the, like, yeah, Saw, like, the Saw movies have its own kind of color grading style? Yeah, yeah exactly. This, this one is, is different. Oh, I'm sorry, dude, my girlfriend was texting me. What's she saying? What's you she, read it out loud. What's she saying, that you need to take a shower? No, no. Oh, I think you're the one who stinks, man. Read that. Okay. There's a massive clearance sale in my bedroom tonight. All clothes are 100% off. And then I said, can I come over and take advantage of the sale? She's like, yes. Each film had their own distinct look. There's no, like, fast-paced editing. Flashbacks, you know, like, all that other stuff. Like, they really just, like... Straight away from it. Yeah, straight away from that and tried mm -hmm. to make it their own thing. And this film was directed by Peter and Michael Spierig, who I actually have a movie that they autographed right here. Hold up. All right, I'll just keep them entertained while you grab it. Yo, 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 Jigsaw was okay. It's not bad. I liked it. Okay. <laughs> 
good. Oh, I, I, I got the wrong movie. <laughs> the wrong movie. They directed Daybreakers. I won this by the writer other, of Jigsaw, actually. Other way to show the movie. That was their first movie, Peter and Michael Spear, the, the two dudes who directed this movie. That's a really good original take on the vampire genre. The one thing I was kind of afraid of is the, the, the writers, Josh Stahlberg and Pete Goldfinger, I think his name is. You know, they, they've, you know, really known for horror comedies, such as, you know, Piranha 3D and Piranha 3 Double D and uh, Sorority Row. Piranha's good. I thought that tone wouldn't fit with the Saw movie. But the movie actually wasn't really as comedy driven as I thought it would no. be. Like, there's a little bit of jokes sprinkled in, yeah. but like it's really just a, a serious movie. If you like the Saw movies, this one is not the worst in the series. This is definitely one of the better ones. It's a standalone movie almost, it mm -hmm. feels like. Exactly. It doesn't feel like a sequel as much as it's marketed as, and that's probably the reason why it's called Jigsaw, and the reason why it's so exactly. much different than the other Saw movies. That's why it's not called Saw 8, it's just called Jigsaw. Jigsaw. It's a film that's in the same universe. It's like uh, Rogue but, One almost, in, in uh, a sense. Yeah, yeah, I never in thought about that. Yeah. Boy, that's interesting. Yeah, it's kind of like it's, Rogue One. Yeah, I it's mean. yeah, sort of. Although it's yeah, you know, well, actually, really is because it, it, yeah, because yeah, I don't okay, want to spoil yeah, it. <laughs> You know, at the end of every Saw movie, there's a big epic twist at the end. Da -na 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 -na. And the thing I really liked about this movie, of course, no spoilers, but oh. there's a few twists. It's... I'm sorry, dude. I stepped on it and it fucking was ruined. <laughs> sorry, I'm just angry. It would be so funny if you saw that movie and you actually liked it. I'm sure. I'm sure I fucking will, dude. I'm just saying because I stepped on it. Now that it's all fucking crumbled up, might as well just throw it away anyways. Yeah. There's no fucking point in keeping it. At least I got fucking yeah. Tyler Perry's boot, too. That's gonna go on the fucking wall. Frame that shit. It's a masterpiece right there. I'm gonna cry, dude. Oh my god, man. That shit's depressing. The way that they handled it, like, that aspect of it in the third act, I thought... I personally thought it was brilliant. I was expecting something epic like Dr. Gordon to show up and start screwing crap up or whatever, but nothing like that happened, you know? It, it, it was something that I did not see coming, <laughs> and uh, I personally thought that it was handled really well, and I thought it was really awesome. All right, last thing I want to say about Jigsaw, this movie... That's all you have to say? One more thing? Oh my god, calm down. All right, listen. The thing about it is, it's actually quite a simple movie, but if you're a big fan it's of the franchise, then... Actually, the thing about it is that it's kind of simple, but it's also, very like, really confusing. very complex. There's mm -hmm. a lot in this movie. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch it. Like, when the, tw when the twist happened, of course, no spoilers, I was thinking, I don't know if it makes sense, but then I was thinking back, and I was thinking, okay, this doesn't add up. But this does, and then, I don't know, I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch it with, like, with that twist in mind. Because, like, it's one of those twists where, like, you know, you need to go back and, like, watch the movie with an entirely different outlook because you know what the mm -hmm. twist is. You guys all know, Tobin Bell's in this movie, Jigsaw. Like, the first scene that, that he is in, oh, oh my god. Ass, that freaking epic Saw music came on. I literally said, oh my god, in the theater. I was like, yes! I know. When Tobin Bell got on, he was like, oh my god, yes! He was like, yes! Yes, and everyone Josh just Kramer. looked at him. <laughs> everyone looked at him like, oh. And, and, and then Josh leans over. He's like, yeah, he's he's special. You know, I really loved how they utilized the character of John Kramer in this movie. And this is what I just realized. Okay, this is a good standalone movie, but it kind of adds stuff that it's kind of irrelevant. They it adds a an element that is not needed. That is just like fishing for just like another movie to be made. I feel like they should have went. Mm. They should have spent their time and made like something revolving around what happens like at the end of the seventh one and then continue that, you know? I was just, you know, so excited to see this movie and I finally saw it after all this time and it's been my most- Finally! After all these years! Inside joke. Inside, inside joke. Yeah. You want, you want to make it an outside joke? Ha ha ha! Alrighty guys, this is about a couple weeks later. My camera uh, ran out of memory and I couldn't delete anything because I shot so much footage. I've had more time to think about it now and I have to say it's a decent entry in the series. It was pretty well directed and uh, the story went in directions that I was not expecting. This film itself, while distancing itself so far from the other movies, also adds a lot to the whole entire Saw mythology. It adds it, it, two really big you know, elements into the whole grand story, you know, with John Kramer. And I really like that aspect of it. But there's one line at the end of the movie 
that ruins the entire Saw timeline. Adam from Your Movie Sucks, he, he did a review on Jigsaw, and he thoroughly explains what I'm talking about. I noticed it immediately when I saw it in the theater, and I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense. But he thoroughly explains how it doesn't make any sense, and it's really funny. And really, the whole movie, definitely check out his review and his channel. He's my third favorite YouTuber, he's great. Anyway, there was that, and also several other things, you know, about the movie that didn't really make that much sense. But overall, it was decent. And uh, I feel like the only way for the next movie to be really good is like for them to actually bring back characters from the past, like Dr. Gordon or somebody. So I'm going to give Jigsaw a B plus. Like I said, not one of the best Saw movies, but definitely not the worst. Anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. Down below in the comments, let me know what you guys thought of the video. Let me know what you guys thought of Josh. Definitely subscribe to Cinecreeper Josh. His link will be down in the description below as well as follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, and follow me on Twitter, and also follow Josh on Twitter, and subscribe to him on YouTube. All those links will be right here. All right, guys, I'll see you later.